Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, pilot training regulations recognize advances in training. Boeing delays their first manned space launch. Congress votes to allow the TSA to hang out the help one at sign. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's May 16th, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. CFR 14 Part 61, commonly referred to as FAR Part 61, is the section of our aviation regulations that governs the certification of pilots, flight instructors, and ground instructors. FAA has published a notice of proposed rulemaking that would improve pilot certification and training. A big part of the change is allowing aviation training devices at varying levels to be used more frequently for the purpose of pilot certification and recency of experience requirements. Commercial training applicants will get a break in the 10 hours required and complex airplanes can now be performed in an airplane defined as a technically advanced airplane. A long-awaited change is being proposed to allow sport pilots to apply all sport pilot training towards a higher certificate rating, and sport pilot-only flight instructors are now going to be allowed to teach maneuvering training by reference to instruments to their sport pilot students under certain conditions. There have also been changes made to flight instructor certification that make it easier for flight instructors to remain current. Most of the changes involved in this proposed rule revision are ones that have been requested by the aviation training industry. It looks like the launch of the manned spacecraft by Boeing in the U.S. space program will be delayed, as it now appears Boeing Starliner manned spacecraft will not carry humans into space until sometime in 2018. In a briefing for investors last week, the word from the company's Defense Space and Security Division was that the first unmanned flight of the Starliner is planned for 2017 with a manned mission to follow in 2018. Boeing spokeswoman Rebecca Reagan told them that the schedule had slipped due to a number of challenges with the spacecraft, including aeroacoustic issues and the ULA Atlas V launch schedule. The delay is seen as minor, given that Boeing had originally targeted December of this year for a trip to the International Space Station with the Starliner. However, if Boeing is delayed to 2018, SpaceX could be the first commercial space company back in the business of launching humans into space from American soil, which would be seen as quite a coup for this company. After the break, TSA receives approval to hire. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing in crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Errol TV, our website, or podcast, just email to news spy at errol news.net. The Congress has approved a request from the Transportation Security Administration for funding for hundreds of additional screeners to handle an anticipated increase in the airline passengers this summer. USA Today reports that the agency requested permission to transfer $34 million between its accounts so that it could hire and train 768 new screeners and pay overtime to 42,500 existing officers. The U.S. Senate approved the transfer earlier this month on the same day it was submitted, and the U.S. House followed suit two days later. Several airports have already been hit with long delays, and a recent YouTube video showing unbelievably long lines has gone viral. The number of travelers passing through U.S. airports is expected to increase by 8%, according to TSA Administrator Peter Neffinger. Each week we share with you an online video that one of our viewers found especially entertaining. We call it our Aero Video of the Week. Final lift off the left. On 
April 6th this year, the private space company Blue Origin landed its booster back on Earth for reuse. In this video, you'll see and hear what it is like if you are in the booster looking through a window as it descends to the touchdown. After these messages, skydivers experience a hard landing in the plane. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Last week, a Cessna caravan with skydivers on board went down in a vineyard in Northern California. Reports indicate the aircraft had engine trouble shortly after takeoff and flipped inverted upon landing in the vineyard. No serious injuries were reported among the 18 occupants. Rolls-Royce has dispatched the first ship set of four engines as part of its largest ever order from the United Arab Emirates. The Trent 900 engines were shipped to Toulouse, France, where they will be fitted to an A380 aircraft. Last week, a young woman who was modeling for publicity photographs was hit in the face by UAV during the photo shoot. She said it was her first time working with an aerial camera platform. Only minor injuries were reported. F-35 Lightning II pilots from Hill Air Force Base began flying routine four-ship combat training missions at the Utah Test and Training Range earlier this month. Active duty and reserve pilots from the 388th and 419th Fighter Wings joined forces in the exercise. The Greenville, South Carolina Civil Air Patrol Squadron is hosting an open house on May 28th at the squadron headquarters adjacent to the Greenville Downtown Airport South Ramp. The squadron commander says the community is welcome and can learn more about the CAP. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. More Apple portable devices can now be part of your instrument panel as Guardian Avionics announces the addition of two new flush panel mount models. The new mounts are for the Apple iPad Air, iPad Pro 9.7 inch models, and the iPhone 6 Plus. With the addition of the two new mounts to the line, Guardian Avionics says they have a flush mounting solution for every current iPad and iPhone product on the market. Guardian says the panel mounts create a clean position for the iPhone or iPad in the instrument panel, allowing tablets and phones to be docked and removed in just seconds, with connection to power, data, and audio integrated into the mount. Guardian describes their IFDR panel mounts as being constructed of ABS plastic for long-term durability. Ash Veej, president of Guardian Avionics said, we listened to the pilots over the past few months and found that every iPad and iPhone model has a purpose and a place in the cockpit. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news. From the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource, always have an out.